A sequel is already in the works, and it will further dive into the world of Ghostbusters, possibly giving us just the right amount of nostalgia mixed with new ideas. Get ready, Ghostbusters Afterlife 2 is on the way. Ghostbusters Afterlife follows a family of three as they relocate into an inherited house located in the middle of nowhere. They soon become aware of their ancestors' history as Ghostbusters and are thrown into the risky position of having to defend their small town and, of course, the entire world. After formally announcing a Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel last month, Sony has now set a date for what will be the next chapter in the Spengler family story. Hollywood is hesitant to end the Ghostbusters franchise, but Ghostbusters Afterlife serves as a reminder that not everything that happened in the past deserves to be forgotten. The 1984 original Ghostbusters was memorable, but the sequel focuses far too much on nostalgia and action, lacking any of the silly fun that made the first film so meaningful. What are you doing here in Somerville anyway? We're completely broke, and our grandfather left us. Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is directed by Jason Reitman and continues the franchise began by his father and original director Ivan Reitman, is inoffensive family entertainment but it lacks the soul, charisma, or strong drama to support its continued existence. In order to complete the story, Ghostbusters Afterlife combines elements from both the video game and the original film, but while doing so, it loses its identity. Although the movie is very family-friendly and will probably appeal to younger audiences, there isn't much heart to the action because Afterlife doesn't have any real emotional stakes. Phoebe and Callie do have some conflict, but it's at best minimal. Phoebe's entire persona also falls victim to the good at science trap, making her an expert on all things scientific, even when they don't make much sense to someone her age. Ghostbusters Afterlife misses the chance to be endearing and silly, qualities that distinguish the first movie and a sequel by taking itself way too seriously and taking the fun and charisma out of the narrative. Ghostbusters Afterlife raised questions that can only be answered with a sequel and they give viewers hope that plans are in the works to bring the franchise to an end. After multiple delays, the film Ghostbusters Afterlife, which takes place 32 years after the events of Ghostbusters 2 in 1989, was finally released in November 2021. Just in time for the holiday season the following year, the Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel will be released earlier than expected, on December 20, 2023. The most fascinating story involving this information, however, is the date itself. Since Ghostbusters Day in early June, Sony has hinted at a 2021 sequel to the popular film. December 20th, 2023 is just two days before Disney had planned to release Rogue Squadron, the following Star Wars film. Everything suggests that the movie will be delayed, and if Sony is confident enough to plan a film in a related genre for that weekend, there's a good chance that the studio is betting the movie won't be released that weekend. Carrie Coon as Callie Spengler, Finn Wolfhard as Trevor Spengler, McKenna Grace as Phoebe Spengler, and Paul Rudd as Gary Gruberson were among the new cast members who debuted in Ghostbusters Afterlife. In addition, Bill Murray as Peter Venkman, Dan Aykroyd as Raymond Ray Stantz, Ernie Hudson as Winston Zedmore, Sigourney Weaver as Dana Barrett, and Annie Potts as Janine Malnitz were all featured from the original cast. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. While the new cast members have not yet expressed their opinions on Ghostbusters Afterlife 2, two of the original cast members have said that they would be open to returning to their respective roles in a follow-up. Dan Aykroyd previously stated that he wants Bill Murray's Peter and his character Ray to be killed in the upcoming movie so that they can join the ghost of Egon Spengler guiding the new Ghostbusters he wants the original Ghostbusters to appear in the following three sequels, even if they don't die. In addition, Ernie Hudson stated that he would like to return for Ghostbusters Afterlife 2, and that, given how the third movie ended, his character will undoubtedly be a part of what comes next. And even though it hasn't been officially confirmed, it makes sense that we'll see the aforementioned Wolfhard, Kuhn, and Rudd again. After 32 years have passed since the events of Ghostbusters 2 and follows a family who learns of their connections to the original Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters Afterlife, given that the 2016 reboot wasn't quite successful enough to call for a sequel, a Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel could be very exciting. After 1989, the franchise took a nearly 30-year gap from the big screen, sparking speculation about whether Ghostbusters Afterlife will be the franchise's true cinematic comeback or if it will once again go dormant. Given the significant time interval between Ghostbusters 2 and Ghostbusters Afterlife, it seems possible that this could be a true revival. 
With such a long time span, there are multiple potential storylines and events that can be explored. As a test platform to see if the legacy of zapping poltergeists could absorb by a new generation, Ghostbusters Afterlife served as an effective pilot program for the franchise. A descendant of Egon Spengler, Phoebe effectively continued the Proton Pack where her origins had left off. Egon not only passed on his intelligence to his granddaughter, but also his curiosity. Even though she was portrayed as emotionally guarded, Phoebe proved that she and Egon shared a similar love of connection, science, and exploration. Her social awkwardness balances her intellectual sharpness. It's expected that some time will pass before the sequel is released. Therefore, Phoebe will probably have matured into a self-assured young scientist by the time she returns, perfecting what her grandfather and his team of Ghostbusters had begun. Of course, there will be the expected alliance of other characters from Afterlife, including Podcast, Lucky, as well as Phoebe's mother, Callie, and Mr. Gruberson. The appearance of the original Ghostbusters at the conclusion of Afterlife was definitely a treat. Venkman, Ray, and Winston will almost certainly appear in the sequel in some capacity. How little or how much remains to be seen, yet there will undoubtedly be callbacks and references in the sequel as well. But now it's up to the new crew to forge their own path. The reused Gozer defeating plot was one of Ghostbusters Afterlife's criticisms. As entertaining as it was to witness Paul Rudd transform into a demon dog and hear Venkman's signature banter during the movie's crucial battle, the antagonist of the sequel should be a new character. But it's possible that this won't happen. Jason Reitman has already hinted at the eventual return of Vigo, the Carpathian, who nearly defeated the heroes during the events of Ghostbusters 2. Vigo's return could be an amazing reappearance because he's arguably the most terrifying of the main original villains. History has been kind to Ghostbusters 2 and, by extension, Vigo as a villain. However, if he was to take on that role once again, Phoebe and the team's newfound path would be undermined. Finally, it appears that Ghostbusters Afterlife 2 will return to New York City for its follow-up. It makes sense to go back to the beginning of everything, the codename Firehouse, which refers to the original Ghostbusters 1980s headquarters and was also visible in the end credits of the most recent film, will be used for the release of a new Ghostbusters movie, according to the official Twitter account for the franchise. The most accurate sneak peek of what to expect in Afterlife 2 can actually be found in that sequence. In Ghostbusters 2, the Ecto-1's logo is a ghost holding up two fingers as opposed to the ghost holding up one finger in the first Ghostbusters movie. The Ghostbusters logo in Ghostbusters Afterlife has just one finger up again, suggesting that Egon once altered the logo following Ghostbusters 2, and because of that, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Reitman has already said that he intends to address this issue in a potential sequel. There are a variety of fascinating ways that the past and present can develop, both side by side and separately. See you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> my